So, our, uh, what's his name? He saw, I mean, I guess he heard me pacing around. So he waited until I left. So I heard it when I closed the door. Or he get out the room. Yeah, it started. Well, the we'll, we'll paper started. Oh, uh, yeah, it hurts it, 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 a little bit. I didn't see it. You just got a bad issue right there. Yeah. That's all. Down a little bit. And we're timing the car. On the newer cars, you can do it all through your scanner and whatnot. Well, back here, it's done. So what we do, we power it up off the battery, and then it reads the number one uh, uh, wire here. It's picking up its pulse. So what I could do, I can time here, and it should give me my timing mark. Right there, right there on the uh, harmonic, those little slashes right there. And now what we're going to do, we're going to turn our distributor. We got to loosen it a little bit and we're gonna adjust. See that line move? My point of reference is that little screw right back there. Little orange screw. It's supposed to be at five degrees. Let's see, we gotta get... Right about there. All right. I'm gonna turn it off, let it cool down, and try this again. Out. One of the things I wasn't able to get working on here was that temp sun, the temp uh, gauge. I'm pretty upset about that, but there's only so much I can do right now. She feels pretty good. Richard mentioned something about his gas pedal feeling funny, and yep, he's got a little bit of a, of a pop on there. She feels good. Nice and quiet. Stay away from the craters. All right. The car almost sounds like it's off. You know, if it wasn't for that little, you know, shimmy shake that it has. But other than that, it's good. It's great. Got to get away from these cars. See if we can get a little bit of higher speed. This is Chicago for you. It's traffic till midnight. Still hear like a little shimmying on the brakes. They've settled in a lot more than they had when we first initially installed them on that front disc conversion we did to it. But it does, it sounds, moves, and feels great. It's not all poppy like when we first went to go see it. You hear them. Let's go down this street. Let's get off this main road because it's a lot of traffic. There we go. It's not like we can pick up tremendous speed because of the fact that, you know, the suspension is not all that great. Roy here wasn't an accident that ended up getting repaired, but still needs further 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 repair on that suspension we initially wanted to bring them in to have the springs done 
before the chain started to act on with and get all goofy. But now, we're gonna have to take a step back and see what we're gonna do, because a lot of what's going on with that front end, it's really old and I gotta really plan it out to make sure that if something breaks, I can replace it. Become best friends with Steve over at Blazer Automotive Parts. Let's see if we can do that. Another rambling around here. <laughs> These guys right here are the crazy ones. He responds well though for 55 year old springs. He does have new shocks. So prior to this repair, let's see. It's still choppy. He's still a little choppy. You have to. No problem. Almost smell like if the gas is a little not good. Almost smells that way. Fabulous finds. We're doing 35. Feels good. You probably had to get those little hiccups he had. Yeah, definitely got to check into that, uh, that, that pedal because it makes a funny pop right there. I don't like that at all. Nice 44, 49, man. Yeah, that's a ticket. That's what I like to drive.
That's what I don't like. Gonna have to check the car. After a good little run, um, there's some things we have to tweak out. We have to check the car. Um, he feels like he wants to bog out as you give it some gas. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. We're going to find out why the pedal feels like it's sticking or it has a slight popping, something. We're going to have to figure that out if it's related to the pedal or it's in the linkage up top of the carburetor. Other than that, Roy feels great. And it's good to see him back on the road and hopefully Richard likes him. And see what we can do now. Let's open them up. Rolling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust the carburetor here for Roy. Uh, so just a quick uh, overview of everything yeah. that we've done to Roy. Roy came in here about two years ago. We did the rear gas tank to him. That's how we got to know Richard. The car came in uh, with a mistaken gas tank to I think some kind of Mustang or something, which didn't work out at all. It was a really pain in the butt. We had to, Richard had to go, I think, about four hours away into Michigan to actually find an almost brand new 1964 Rambler gas tank that was coming off of an Ambassador, I think. Uh, we installed that, got the car running correctly. Along with that, we sent out our fuel pump, which is a dual action fuel pump down there. It runs a, it's a vacuum driven fuel pump and it runs our wipers as well too. It has a little line right here that goes all the way down to the fuel pump, right to the bottom of it. And then uh, that's how we work the wipers, right off the same fuel pump. That fuel pump was a good $700 rebuilt. We had to send that out over uh, New Jersey to get that done. Other than that, we redid the head. We uh, seals, seats, springs, uh, those were all changed out. We cleaned out the rods and every little bit of 55 years of gray goop that was in there and all sloshed in there. We cleaned all that out, all the hard, chunky oil that was not letting the the uh, the oil valleys get filled up and, and hold oil to the to the lifters. So we had to clean all that out. We removed the lifters. We cleaned all those out. We got this guy pristine clean. We cleaned out all his arteries. Uh, as of right now, as what you've seen, we did the timing chain to him. So we have been working on old Roy here. Uh, we also did a bit of work on the dashboard. We took care of a lot. Of, we took care of a lot of the electrical underneath there. And again, one of the things that I said like before. I feel bad because I can't get this uh, <laughs> the, the the meter to the uh, my, my 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 temperature gauge to work properly. Uh, along other things, we redid a couple of uh, uh, crush gaskets here up front with the uh, manifold, and pretty much Roy's kept stock. There's nothing out of the ordinary. There's no aftermarket stuff. Pretty much it's just the stock. Uh, 3.2 196 cubic inch uh, inline six from uh, American Mortars. Uh, along with that, Richard has done a couple other things inside of it and around it. As you can tell, he got the whole interior redone, front and rear, and we got all that operational as well too. Oh, unlock it. They did a really nice job in the seats. It looks really nice. And if any of you guys really know what a Rambler, you know, they got the front seats to operate properly. Mm. I 
guess they gotta get it. He, there we go. I think it can come out. I think that's about it, right? I don't think. There we go. So the Rambler was made for the everyday traveling man, and the front seats turn into a bed, as you can see. I didn't know that. So you could do that all the way around. I did not know that. Yep. So they got all of this functioning and working. The guy, they, they, these guys, uh, I don't remember the upholstery place he took it to, but they did an amazing, amazing job. The carpeting was done as well too. So that's all brand new carpeting down here. So overall, Roy's gone through a bit of a transformation. Uh, there's been some love here for Roy. That's good, man. That's good. Along with that, Mr. Richard also spiced up Roy by giving him his classy little Rambler spinners. We did those with the front brake install, which we also did for uh, Roy. We did a front disc conversion from uh, American Parts Depot. We ordered the parts. We got a whole uh, Ambassador Nash Rambler kit brake setup that Richard bought, and it came with a cast iron uh, 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 plate for the for the for the for your for the uh, calipers. So Roy here comes with the front uh, disc conversion already. Uh, he did have all drums. Richard was having a hard time stopping. Uh, even though it's still manual brakes, it's not power brakes, he does stop, I want to say, 50%, 60%, much, much better. So the discs do make a big difference in braking. We do hear a little chatter here and there from the brakes. You know, we still waiting for them to settle in. Other than that, we were working on some other things. Now we're just going to tune up the car, man, and get old Roy back to his, uh, back to his owner. I want to thank everyone that watches the channel following us on Instagram and uh, YouTube and uh, our Facebook you know whatever we can put up there uh, thank you everyone for subscribing hit that bell and keep watch for the Illinois car culture shows coming up during the summer